Prince are Mikey gone? Oh, where, oh, where can he be? He is at one of my favorite <laughs> places. And somewhere, especially in the year of 2024, I have been frequenting a lot already. So uh -huh. every year, one of the biggest New Year's resolutions is to have a healthier lifestyle. And Mikey's joining us live from down to earth to go behind the menu of their healthy dishes. Hey, Mikey and crew. Sissy, hey, Cece. <laughs> Hey, you guys, John just says hey. So hey, I know it's Cece, you guys. It's been a minute since we've been at Down to Earth. Yes. But Cece, good to see you. Good Happy to New see Year. You. you know, Happy Kelly New was year. mentioning earlier that, you know, it is a new year, new resolutions. And people's resolutions this year, as well as every other year, is to be healthier. Yes. Um, and today, we're doing that through food. So Great let's job. talk about, you know, the food that we're going to be making today, especially the brownies, because I'm such a sweet person. Yes. <laughs> so we're actually making fudgy carob brownies with no refined sugar. Fudgy carob brownies with no refined sugar. Say that 10 times fast. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, exactly. OK, cool. OK, let's just get straight into it. How do we make this? And tell everybody about the ingredients that we're going to be using today. OK, so these actually are going to be vegan, gluten-free, and refined sugar-free. Okay. So we're cutting out butter, milk, um, you know, all those things that make brownies a little on the less healthy right. side. We're Got making you. healthy brownies today. Okay, cool. So the first thing we're doing is going to throw this brown rice flour into brown here. Brown rice flour, okay, cool. It's about a cup of that. Okay. And then I'm going to add a little bit of baking powder. Okay. This is actually baking powder with no added aluminum. Got you. So just about half a teaspoon of this. This is just to let it rise a tiny bit. Okay. And then people often don't realize that adding salt to desserts mm -hmm. really brings out all the natural flavors of the of the recipe. Right. I think I remember you saying that a couple yes. of years ago. But it is yes. true. Okay, so good to know. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to put a little bit of Celtic sea salt. Okay. And then I'm going to add this here. This is our refined sugar alternative. This is actually date sugar. It's just made from organic dates. In fact, oh. the ingredient list on here is one ingredient, organic dates. I and love that. Wait, let me see. They've just been dried and then ground up. And we're gonna pop that in there. Okay, so and we're doing then, all of our dry ingredients first. Yes, Okay. and what we're going to do is we're actually going to make a flax egg. Okay. So basically, to make a flax egg, this is to make our brownies free of eggs, we're gonna use two tablespoons of flax meal. This is flax seeds that's been ground up, or we also sell this in our bulk department, just okay. as flax meal. And then we're gonna add about five tablespoons of water. So the ratio is always basically one tablespoon of flax meal to five tablespoons of, oh sorry, to two and a half tablespoons of liquid. Got you, okay. So okay, in cool. this case, I am using water. Now this usually needs to sit for about 10 minutes or so. Mm -hmm. What I'm gonna do while we wait for that, obviously we're not gonna watch it and, and wait for it <laughs> yeah, to, yeah. to set. Yeah. I'm gonna have you pass me this pot over okay. here. So right and here, you guys, this is some uh, melted chocolate that we that we started melting before we actually started filming. Actually, it looks like melted it's not chocolate. chocolate. It's not chocolate. Plot twist. This is our trust <laughs> issues. <laughs> Wait, what is this? It is melted carob chips, these ones over oh, here. Oh. And I have... Oh, oh sorry. Oh, and that's... Sometimes sorry. it happens. Live TV. <laughs> So that's actually what the carob chips look like when they're not melted. Okay. Okay. And we're going to put the melted ones right in here. Oh, they're kind of hard. Okay. You know what we're going to do? We're going to add the, they dry really fast. So what we're going to do is we're going to add the oil into here. Okay. We're going to mix it up a little and bit. And this is coconut yeah. oil. Let's do it over here so we don't. This is coconut oil, right? Coconut oil, yeah, okay. that's right. The whole thing? All the way in, yeah. Okay. We're going to mix it in here first. Okay. So usually it will come out to be like nice and creamy. That's what it looked like when I made gotcha. the first batch. And but it smells so good. Yes, it, it smells amazing. So carob is incredible because carob is basically a tree that is native to the Mediterranean area. And the fruit looks like these large pods. They're super high in fiber. They're high in antioxidants. Okay. They've even been used in things like weight loss, lowering cholesterol. No so way. they're an alternative to cocoa, cacao, and the great thing is that they don't contain any stimulants like cacao does. So they don't, they don't awesome. have any caffeine, okay, no see, theobroma. See, this is where I thought this was actual chocolate chips. One, it smells like it, and, and two, it, kinda it looks, looks like, like it. it yeah. yeah, so there you go. Um, okay, so then we're just gonna combine those two ingredients yes. together. And then and you're gonna pop it into the, the, the oven yes. for how long? I'm gonna put it in the oven for about 35 minutes at 325 degrees Fahrenheit. This is a little lumpy. That's okay. This is this is gonna be the 
the one that we we put in. We're gonna we're gonna taste another one. We're so gonna see. Okay, it's gonna cool. Be fun. Okay, so more fun on living it away. So we're gonna uh, continue making this. We're gonna go to break, and then when we come back, we're gonna pop it into the oven, and then we're gonna try it live here on living it away. And I'm also gonna clean up this mess. So I'm so sorry about that. No <laughs> Don't go anywhere, you guys. Living it away. We'll be right back.